Hey guys, welcome back, it's me Bruce with another episode of High Voltage and today I will do a few of the new MTC bases and I did a uh, video already about that but there are so many new NPC bases, it is awesome, it is really nice and I suggest let's go to it and the first one is face punch, like punch in the face, it's uh, an in incredibly cool name, it's like, I don't know, it's so cool and let's check it out what is going on here, um, this one is speech front and oh by the way I just realized that I don't have that many troops but let me see if I can do it with only Sooks. That would be very cool and I think I can actually, I think I can and what do I have to do for that? I have to get rid of mortars that's for sure. Yes guys, um, I'm constant, uh, contently, um, oh my god I can't speak anymore. I'm currently reloading my troops and I will just go with the few troops I have right now attack and see how that goes. And sniper towers and flamers won't be a problem, cannons n also not a problem. So I think I will go for the mortars there. And um, besides that, um, yeah, just go with the flow, I guess. And um, yeah, take take out this one. That's basically it. So there are no, no mortars anymore. And now I think I will just land my troops and flare myself around the back to the core and that's pretty much it so let's go over there one smoke and i think i lost like two or three sooks due to the sniper tower and i have to be careful because my flare was kind of sloppy and okay now i'm in the back so this is very good let's go over there one more smoke and then I think I'm good. I'm coming in from a, from a very nice angle. So let's work with a shock there. One shock, yes, looking good. And now let the Sukas do their thing and uh, cruise through that base. And as I said, it won't be of a real problem. I will go with another sm uh, shock. It shocks actually, shocks. I, I'm, guys, I'm completely mentally retarded right now. I can't speak. I'm, I think I'm just brain dead. And yes, it is going down pretty fast. And I'm losing a few sukes, but still good enough. That went not too bad at all. Face punch or punch in the face. Very nice. Very cool name. Um, very nice that there are so many new NPC bases. I love it. It is probably the best part of the update, um, besides the fact that you can actually save base layouts. So that is really good. And yeah, let's reload the troops and let's see if I can do all the new NPC bases with the troops I have. We will see. And the next one is Block Party. So let's see what Block Party got for us. Okay, interesting. Let me see. I think I can do this with all Sooks too. Um, yeah, I think I can, but I, I do have four heavies actually, so that is even better. And in order to do that, I will again take out the mortar here. And let me see, I think I need to take out the mortars here. Two, one, two, there we go. And maybe the third mortar, because then it is totally safe. Yes, let's do that. One more, there we go. And it goes down and oh I missed the cannon really unfortunate that cost me a little bit of gunboat energy but okay and now let's land the troops over there in the corner and then just go with the first box of critters and because I don't want to get picked up by the machine gun and then just uh, yeah um, let the troops do their thing I will relocate over there one more time and work with two critter boxes now and I think I will shock the flamers because I just realized that the flamers are killing my my sukas very 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 fast and so let's wait one more second over there there we go one more shock one more critter box and yeah that's pretty much it and the sukas are doing it again and it is a little bit messy but block party goes down and another very cool NPC base and I mean um, I have to sit down at some point and uh, devise a strategy um, that uh, has no casualties obviously but for now I will just go through all the new NPC bases and go with the troops I have and oh yeah I can do a machine gun upgrade to level 3 how cool is that bam there we go insta refinish troops no not necessary okay what is the next one um, asterix there we go, Asterix, uh, like Asterix and Obelix, I don't know. 
Okay, weird. Very, 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 very weird. But seems to be extremely easy from what I can see here. And we will see how many artillery shells the rocket launchers need. I guess three. Yes, they do. So very nice that is uh, going down. And now let me check the the shock launchers won't be a problem, I guess. Um, but I think I will take them down anyway, just because I can. Once again, just because I can, guys. And let me see, I think I go with the second and the fourth one and see how much random splash damage comes around. And that is looking not too bad at all. Two are down and now three and I think that fourth one will need another barrage because it won't go down in one artillery shell. And so no shock launchers there anymore and then I say let's land the troops and flare them over there and toss the first critter box to protect the few heavies I got there. And yeah, I think I will just work with critter boxes there um, until my troops are in position and then I will go with shocks. So now all the, the troops are getting into position and I think it is now time to deploy the first shock. Yes, there we go. And I think uh, it might be possible, yeah, um, a heavy just got picked up, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, okay. And I think I will also lose one or two Sukas now due to the cannon fire. But again, no problem. Another shock there. There we go. Bam. And now I let them cruise through and do their thing. And the next base is going down, Asterix. And again, a pretty cool NPC base, nice change of pace, looking really cool. Um, good fun, maybe a med kit there, another med kit there, just because they can. And the Sukas are working the headquarters and it is going down right now. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice, very easy, pretty cool. And yeah, let's jump to the next NPC base. Let me see what I got uh, as the next one. So, but before that, quickly, now nah, I didn't even lose any troops. Okay, next one is the big boar. Boar is like this hairy pig, I guess, with, you know, that nasty big teeth. Like this, um, the male wild pig or whatever. And anyway, yeah, this looks also very easy. I think I need to take out the rocket launcher once again, because I don't have that many heavies. And it might pick up a few sukos, which would be quite unfortunate. And besides that, yeah, it's looking very good, guys. It is looking very good. All the new NPC bases are really entertaining. Very good fun. Um, I think, okay, this is a little bit unfortunate that the cannons there are not in a cluster of four, but in a cluster of three, but I will take them down anyway. And that one boom cannon, that's all right, because I can shock it together with the four cannons. And now I think I will go with another, another barrage there. And the first boom mine is down and I think I might have to take out the other three boom mines or four boom mines because they might severely hurt my sooks, uh, my heavies, the few heavies I got. So let's land the troops. There we go. And yeah, let the troops do their thing once again. And the critters uh, didn't, actually they didn't destroy that boom mine in the beginning. Maybe I do it now. Yes, now it's gone. Another shock there. And that's pretty much it, I think. Let me relocate over there one more time to get all the French of the boom cannon and the smoke, not a smoke mat kit there. I guess I'm, I, I can't talk right now. This is, it's, it's impossible. It's like uh, my brain is not, you know, the, the connection between my brain and my mouth is not really working right now, but I think still good enough for a video. And yeah, by the way, long as work week once again, but good fun, good challenge, good money. I love it. It's getting better every day. And so yes, now sitting on the couch, relaxing and playing Boom Beach. And I think I will open up beer after that video, my first beer for today and enjoy that and see what the weekend brings and yeah we already got cocky so let's go to exit route let's see what exit route got for us and again looks pretty 
funny. Yes, it looks really pretty funny. It is a total change of pace to get those new NPC bases. And by the way, guys, I'm doing them all for the first time. So I haven't even scouted them. I have upload, uh, loaded up the game and they were all there. And now I'm doing them without really thinking what I'm doing. But that's totally okay because it is working. And this is the main thing. And I think I will take out those two here now because I can once again and then land my troops and see how it goes so shock launcher down two and now there's not really that much to look out for i will definitely take out the boom cannon over there but then again i think i will rather take out the flamethrowers here um, because I can shock the boom cannon on top, but those flamethrowers, they do, they're doing so much damage, especially to unboosted heavies, and I don't want to lose my heavies, because um, when I'm doing NPC bases, I do them with the troops I have, and in the meantime, I let my troops replenish, and it saves diamonds, and it is always good fun to have a little challenge, and now I will go with a shock over there, and will first uh, uh, the relocate for the first time, I think I need a mad kit and I think I need another shock over there because the mortar looks nasty. It will pick up on Sukas while I'm moving in. And after the machine guns are done, I can relocate again. There we go. And I need another shock. Okay, that shock was a bit late and I got um, a few Sukas got picked up by the mortar, which is quite unfortunate, a bit messy of mine. And now there's the spoon cannon and I have no shocks anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate. But now there's a shock. There we go. And as soon as the cannon is gone, I will relocate over there one more time and then go from there because I want to re be a reach out of reach of the mortars and guys, I just can't speak today. And this was really unfortunate because my relocation was so horrible that um, a lot of my sukas got picked up by flames were really bad. That was really terrible actually, really very terrible. But yeah, it doesn't matter. I still have enough sukas to do the damage that is necessary to take down the NPC bases. And yeah, that one goes down to, I think it was Exit Root, another very cool name. And let me quickly replenish the troops there. There we go. And now let's move to Teardrop. What does Teardrop got for us? Um, weird. Once again, very weird. I think I will choose another approach here. I will take out the rocket launchers, that is for sure. The rocket launchers need to be gone. And will they go down with two artillery shells? No, it will be three artillery shells. And now I will work with shocks. Pretty easy. I will just work with shocks and go from there. And I missed one water, but that's all right. I got all the three shock launchers. Oh man, I also got all the cannons. That's really nice. Yeah. That is really easy to shock here. That is a really nice cluster on the left side. Very, very easy, very convenient. And I will go with the next shock right away there. And I have so many. Okay, I need to toss a critter box. Um, I have so many buildings I can shock at once. That is ridiculous. Look at that cluster there. And I need another, another critter box over there. And I think I need to relocate right now. Because otherwise that thing will go sideways. Another critter box over there. And yeah, let the Sukas do their thing. And it is looking pretty good. There we go. I have still one heavy standing. That is totally alright. And yeah, um, I think I need to relocate one more time. Together with a mad kit over there. Bam. And this is looking very good. It is all going down. Let's toss a random brush over there. And wait until the Sukas take down the headquarters. Which should be the case in... Three, two, one. Yes, there we go. Bam. Boom, boom, boom. That was another very quick NPC base. Tear drop. And I'm getting a shard, intel, and a fragment, which is very cool. Actually, it's three fragments. So that went actually very well. And yeah, let's see the next one. Okay, first replenish troops. There we go. Bam. The next one. What is the next NPC base? Recoil. Recoil sounds pretty cool. Like the recoil from a gun when you're firing it, I guess. Yes, there we go. Bam. Let me see what recoil got for us interesting interesting recall uh, recall might be a bit problematic with the troops i got here that looks that looks sketchy that looks kind of sketchy but i will try it anyway there we go and i will obviously take out the two clusters on top with the rocket launchers because this is a very thankful takeout i will get back so much gunboat energy i will actually get back 24 gunboat energy points and three uh, artillery shells and i think i might go with one 
one barrage here and one artillery shell. We will see if this is working out. I hope so. And it is looking not too good, guys. I think one rocket launcher will still be standing. So this was a big waste of an artillery shell. But all right. And what will I do? How will I proceed here? I will go over the right side because there are a few um, supply buildings. So what I will need to do is take out the first rocket launcher there so that I don't need to work with too many shocks and smokes. And then just go from there. And I think... I will be able to shock the, the second shock launcher here easily together with the rocket launcher. So we'll take out that one shock launcher there too. And then just land the troops, one artillery shell, boom. And that should be good enough for the landing. I will toss one critter box to get rid of all the, the, the mines over there. And uh, the, that's actually very convenient that the critters are already um, you know, um, collecting the free gunboat energy there. And I think I might... My Sukas might get hurt there, but no, it's not, not that bad at all. Here, one shock. And yes, um, go. I think I need to relocate over there one more time. Yes, I need to do that. Very important. Go with another shock to protect myself against the rocket launcher. And now I will let the troops do their thing. And oh, I just lost quite a lot of Sukas. I think like two or three due to mortar fire. I lost another Suka over there. I think I need to toss a critter box now. And I hope that, yes, now it is looking actually very good. I need to relocate one more time. The mortar is shooting on me. I need a med kit over there. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, oh, oh. This is all, all very sketchy, guys. Very, very sketchy. One more relocation over there. And I think I'm in reach of the shock launcher, which is super annoying now. So let me work with the smoke here. And I hope I will be able to take it out now because if I fail on recall, that would be like so super embarrassing in a video failing on an NPC base. That would be really ridiculous. I think I will need two, two rounds of the Sukas. First round, yes. Second round, where we go? Second round, come on guys, come on guys. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And I think I have enough for a third round. There's the third round. Will it go down? Yes, in the third round. Very funny, guys. Very funny. Very sketchy attack. Very close and very messy and sloppy. But it went down. Recoil went down. And yes, so let me replenish the troops one more time. Bam. And go to the next one. And the thing is, I think I really, really need to... To replenish my troops now because it is not looking like I can do another NPC base without any troops. But we will have a look anyway. Will I be able to do it with in total um, 6 plus 8, 14 Sukas? And guys, I think I can do that. That is actually very funny. I think I can take down unlimited with uh, what was it? 9 with 14 Sukas. I'm pretty sure I can do that. So, first barrage. Second barrage, very important that I take out the rocket launchers and I will obviously need to take out the shock launcher here, that is for sure. And then I will need to take out the mortars and then I'm pretty much good to go guys. This is very funny and I think I will go with one uh, uh, barrage here and yes, hopefully <clears throat> I will now only need one more artillery shell for the remaining mortar. Yes, this is the case which leaves me with 42 gunboat energy points and I'm not boosted and I have 14 Sukas. Will I be able to do it, guys? Will I be able to do it? I have to stick to the left wall and it might be necessary to toss a smoke. No, it won't be necessary. I'm out of reach of the sniper tower, which is very funny. But I think when I move up here now, I won't be out of reach. So I will go with two smokes until I reach the top of the map. And then I will come in and just work with critter boxes, I think. Yes, I will work with critter boxes. And I just lost two Sukas, which is really unfortunate. Um, I should have been a bit more careful. I will now work with a shock there and a critter box there because I can't afford to. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't afford um, to lose any more troops. This is really important. I go with another, another shock there. And I think the sniper tower is picking up troops right now. Another critter box. And I think I need to relocate over there one more time. And it is looking actually pretty good. It is looking like I will take out unlimited ammo with 14 Sukas. And I think I do have like 
10 Sukas left, so as soon as the flamethrower is down, I will relocate one more time over there. Yes, and now I think I'm coming in from a perfect angle, and I should be out of reach of most defensive buildings. No, the machine gunners can touch me, but I do have one more med kit, which is enough, and yes, it is going down again. Very sketchy, but very funny. This worked actually very well. Very weird attack, but yeah. In any way, it is going down. Unlimited ammo is going down with 14 sukas. And I only lost one sukas, which is very, very surprising. I thought it would be more like three or four. And now let me check. I think this was. The, those were actually now all the NPC bases because in the video before I already did exit route. So exit route is done. Uh, route is done already. And so what is left? Cocky. I did it before two. And yep. Yeah. Then I think it is time to close the video and upload it. And I hope you enjoyed that one and have a good one. And see you soon, guys. Bye.